WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey with your latest headlines. Basketball fans are flocking to the Circle City to see their favorite teams play in the big dance. That means scammers are looking to take advantage of folks looking for tickets. Tickets for the games at Gamebridge Fieldhouse have sold fast, meaning some fans are now relying on resellers. Consumer experts say before buying tickets, you should check out the seller on BVB.org or VerifyTicketSources.com. They also say to pay with a credit card, not your debit card. For more tips, check out this story at WRTV.com. This morning, a former school official is facing charges in two counties for allegedly stealing half a million dollars from taxpayers. Scott Bumgarner served as a chief financial officer for Marion Community Schools. He also worked as a school business manager in Huntington County. He's facing 21 criminal charges for theft and corrupt business influence. We reached out to his criminal defense attorney and we are still waiting to hear back. A Powerball ticket sold in Carmel for Wednesday's drawing is worth more than 50,000 bucks. The winning ticket was sold at the Meyer at Carmel Drive. The Hoosier Lottery suggests signing the back of the ticket and then meeting with a financial advisor. The jackpot for Saturday's drawing is an estimated $750 million. Let's get a check right now for our Friday forecast with Todd. All right, temperatures today, Lauren, eventually will climb into the mid 50s and for some of you even to the 60 degree mark. Uh, but you have to be patient. A lot of these highs are going to occur fairly late in uh, the day today. And as that warmer air comes in, there could be a hit or miss shower that sneaks through here uh, during the middle half of the morning until the early afternoon. Uh, it would be very light if you saw it at all. Otherwise, we're in good shape in the forecast for the day today, just more in the way of clouds as the day progresses. But overnight tonight, a cold front will come through once again. We're back to near freezing to start off your day tomorrow. But as we look ahead to the rest of your Saturday, it's a bright day for us with plenty of sunshine. It's windy, though, with some north winds up to 30 miles per hour. That's going to make the mid 40s feel more like the mid 30s. All right, Todd, for more stories and weather you need to know, just download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.